Yeah, all right. It's time for some more Lunar. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Let's uh, let's do this. I, I want to. I'm interested to see if I'm gonna have to set it back to the way it was. What is that? Oh, never mind. Ha ha ha. Yeah. <clears throat> Grab my controller. Squeaky chair. Sorry. What can he do? I guess I could put some silicone uh, spray on it. The last time we made it to Safe, the port town. I see my mouse. Hang on. Okay, there. Alright. <clears throat> we went through the weird woods last time, went to Safe, met Like, and uh, now we're trying to find the missing C chart. Yeah. So we can sell to Marabia. Although I have no idea. Oh yeah, the gambler. Can he get any dumber than that? Alright. Howdy, children. My name's Brett. I reckon I'm the best there is, the best it was, the best there ever will be. When it comes to gambling. I don't much care if I'm playing... Yeah, yeah. Well, I can't... Can I not just gamble you? Gamble with you? Wait, what did he say? Do you think business would pick up if I hired a singer from Berg? Nah. Quiet, you. What are you trying to say, huh? I don't understand that dialogue a little bit. <coughs> um. And the captain of ship gambled away. I hope he's happy that the entire village knows about my male pattern baldness. What? Why would the sea captain losing the sea chart have to do with anybody finding out that you're bald? Arr, son, don't ask me why I don't have my own sea chart. Ask the dock master, arr. What? Are you the dock master? Captain was fooled in a losing sea chart in a card game with the infamous gambler named Brett. Worst poker player in history. The man's eyes twinkle with delight every time he gets two cards with pretty pictures on them. Now I have a port full of angry passengers, drunken sailors, and running cargo. Lovely. Brett? He's gloating at the bar. Maybe that triggered it. Maybe that's what I needed to do first. Pardon? You want to see Cha? Hmm. Gamble with me and I reckon we could talk. How about it? I reckon we will. Alright, let's play for a hundred silver. We'll start with a real easy game, son. I toss a coin, you guess heads or tails. Call it. That's not poker. Alright, heads, whatever. Sorry, ton. Son, it's tails. How about another, son? Choose head or tails. Dag nab your luck, son. It's tails. I win again. Hey, Alex, um, come here. Did you look at the coin he's using? I mean, really look? What do you mean, Ramus? Oh, there, there I am, trying to revert back to Ramus. The coin he flips isn't the same as the coin he shows us. Brett is switching after the toss. What? Are you sure we should accuse the best gambler in town of cheating? Come on, Null, if anybody knows anything about money, it's me. <laughs> Let's do it one more time. It'll be fine, I promise. Uh, how much money do I have? I have 24 silver. I don't have enough to gamble again. The kids are back. Come on, now. I don't want to win no more of your allowances. It just ain't right. We want to make things more interesting, Brett. We want to bet this. Bet the dragon diamond. Remus, you 
better be sure about what you're doing. We didn't come all the way to safe to lose a diamond on a coin flip. Holy goddess Athena, I reckon that's the prettiest rock I've ever seen. You got yourself a bet, son. Ha! There, see? So Ramus' plan was to beat up Brett. What? So Ramus' plan was to beat up Brett? Sheer genius. Put that coin down, boy. Why, Brett? So I don't notice it has two heads? Brett, you're nothing but a lying, cheating weasel. I knew the coin was fake when I heard it hit the table. A real coin makes a deeper clink. Oh dear, I've been caught by a child. If news of this were to travel, I'd be ruined, you naughty, beastly boy. That's a weird insult. Hey, give me my money back, asshole. I see your accent was as fraudulent as your coins. Don't you know that you can't con a con? Give me the C chart back. Game over, Brett. Give us a C chart. I, I'm afraid I don't have it. Please don't shove me again. I bruise quite easily and I'm a bleeder. What? You said we had a gamble for it. I said you had a gamble, but I never said I had the chart. You, you, you nitty nitty dum dum poopy head. <laughs> um, well said, Noel. I traded the C chart to an old woman in the forest northwest of Saith. She gave me this. Got fortune cane. Take it with you. Perhaps the woman will trade again for this cane or something else. Like our lives. Just gotta heal my myself after losing that much money. So is it the weird woods again? I don't think it is. See, I think it's on this side. I could be completely... No, I think it's... Yeah, it's over here, I think. It's a lot of I think, but... Dungeon! Oh, hello, beetle. Okay, ants. Oh, god damn it. I hit AI. I gave you that bow, Luna, and it sucks. Wait, did they resist sword dance? I saw yellow numbers, and usually yellow means they resisted it. If I, if I remember. Can I stop? Thank you. Alright, I'm sorry for fucking... I love the fact that the cursor does stay in place, but god holy damn. I'm just like clicking A and not thinking about it. There we go. Are you kidding me? I hate this place already. Killer fly. <clears throat> Kill yourself, Luna. Oh my god! They did Final Sting. It's super effective. right to heal Alex. Ramus. Seriously. Oh! 
Oh my god! Oh god damn, this sucks. It's like a gauntlet. I just barely started. You fucking fly, bee, whatever. Killer fly, yeah. Kill these motherfuckers, come on. This is bad. I can't wait till I get to Lunar 2, so every time I use an item, you hear someone yelling something. More specifically, Ronfar comes to my mind. Lady Luck, be kind! save because god this place is already trying to kill me Boom. struck first no, just, i wish I, I said it last time, but that's very much how it is in this game. Like, you go through a dungeon and it's, uh... You think you're like, yeah, I'm strong enough now, I can kill everything. And then you go to the next dungeon, quote-unquote. And it's just like, you're powerless, you're Bab again. And everything's just wrecking your face. But, you know, I'm not complaining that it's too difficult. I enjoy a challenge. I think it's too many games these days are too easy. Not that, you know, I want it to be senselessly hard, but I like a good challenge. Wow, I really should have healed Luna. Never mind. Oh, but there's gonna be this fucking bee right here. It's gonna be out of magic soon. So yeah, I'm doing a little Lunar now, and then later, oh my god, later will be Anime Friday, which has been on hiatus for a little while. I guess he'll Ramus, and uh, I got something I'm excited for. It's a, you know, Jesus! It's a game based off an anime that I really love, and you'll see. wipe maybe maybe not maybe <gasps> uh, Alex just pray I don't know what to do Ramus is not oh wait actually yeah Ramus you save Alex that's the only hope never mind <laughs> Yes, give me experience, please. Alright, well, 
I'm not going to open that in fear of it being a trap. that sound? That's a crazy sound for old B. Oh, killer wasp. Man, insects? My worst place. I'd hate to be in this dungeon. Oh, Alex can sh hit twice now. Good. That's very good. Yeah, certain characters, depending on how high they get in level, We'll be able to swing multiple times, kind of like how we saw Mike do it. So eventually we'll get there. Please stop hitting Luna. song. It sounds familiar. I feel like that's in Luna 2 as well. Every one of these chests has been like a fortify friend. Well, that's good. It's like a Geno boost from Super Mario RPG, I think. Are these all traps? Is this what's going on here? Because if they are, I'm going to stop opening chests. Nice. Nice! Lady Luck be kind! Alex being able to swing twice is really good. <sighs> There's just no reprieve. Jeez. I don't know. I'm kind of feeling like Alex just doing his normal attack would be stronger than... Maybe not. Oh no. Well, it still got the job done. Please don't kill her sting, Alex. I guess I should have tried the fortify thing now. Yeah, he had Ramus. Oh, he's dead. <clears throat> Whoops. God, I can't take five steps and it's just a battle every time. Lunar Silver Star Grind. I didn't heal up because I didn't wasn't expecting that shit. Everybody heal up. I think I'm act. Oh, fuck, I don't know. 
What's up, Astro? That's <laughs> fine. I, I do not care if... No, it's fine. I do not care if people come in halfway through or almost at the end. I mean, as long as, you know, if, if people just show up, that's all I really care about. And even then, goddamn. Believe it or not, this is not the weird woods, even though this probably looks like it. It's just another f fucking forest where all the chests, like, spawn insects, and Luna's out of the game. Well, time to run away. Not that way. Not no! <sighs> Damn it. Man, this place sucks. Kill it, Ramus. NPCs can kill you in that game? Okay, you said a couple of things in that sent paragraph that I didn't make any sense to me. Who's eating what? Is that like... Uh... Oh, you got the other herbs, Luna. Use it on yourself. simply nothing that describes this dungeon and I hate having to leave because that respawns all the mobs but it can't be helped Space pirates, they come and just like steal your stuff. Alright, Rain is fine here. Well, that sucks. NPCs can rob you. So the shit. have all my my stuff <laughs> oh yeah that's right he's selling my herbs I forgot about that no give herb to Ramus Luna Alex Well, in my mind, games like that seems like you would only really have to worry about player characters, but if NPCs can, like, fucking rob you too, that sucks. 
<coughs> because to a certain <coughs> excuse me, but because to a certain degree you can predict what a player is gonna do. AI can be kind of random. I don't know exactly if it's like super detailed like that, but I'm just kind of guesstimating from what you said. But it's cool, whatever, man. Fuck these treasure chests, because they're always traps. Oh, that one wasn't. Oh, never mind, Luna. This bow doesn't really suck. It's just these ants have high defense. How's the audio? Is it... it should be good because it's exactly the same when I streamed it the other day. And I went back and listened to that and it was fine. Anything, I need to turn it down a little bit on my end. What looks like from uh, the ants look like from Final Fantasy 1? Those fuckers. Yeah, okay. The iguanas. You know, those are in Final Fantasy IX. Come to think of it, when I uh, did my playthrough of that, I, uh, I remember seeing them. They were, um... God damn it. They were... Where were they? I think they were in Oliver, or maybe they were in Kefka's... Not Kefka. <laughs> Sorry. Kuja's... Uh, f uh, f desert fortress shit. No, wait, no, they were in, uh... I think they were in Oliver. Or is that the upside down place? I always get that place con- no, no, no. I always get that place confused with the upside down castle. What the fuck's the name of that castle? Oh my god, I played through that game, yeah, it was like over a year ago now, but... I think they're in both, actually. I think they're in, the, like, the Anti-Tower or whatever it is. And they're also in uh, Oliver, because they turn you to stone. They have a stone move. Ibsen, yeah, Ibsen's castle. Yeah, thank you. I fucking... goddamn. I think they're in both places, though, because I remember a lot of enemies in Oliver uh, being able to turn you to stone, and I know those guys do it, too. You fuckers die already? healing song soon because the healing the first healing song is kind of not being effective anymore raise your mind stat luna god Oh, 
Yeah, I got a new uh, new weapon skill or magic ability. Pressure attack. Wait, explosion staff. It's not a staff. It's a sword. <laughs> Whatever. Oh yeah, nice. Okay, so most of the tra chests are traps, but some of them aren't. Like, usually the ones that are really hidden are kind of the right ones. And not the ones out in the fucking open. I think that explosion staff, or explosion sword, is a close range AoE, so now I can do it. I'm gonna try it out. Plus 9 MP. Uh, yeah! Well, that worked. Oh, nice. Did you learn your second cure? Because I was just fucking talking about that. Explosion staff, so... You know what? Looking at that link, is that... I can guess what it is. Is it Magoomin? <laughs> Oh, oh, cool, cool, cool. She got her AoE song, or AoE heal. <laughs> yes, of course, I knew it. I didn't even have to open the link. Goddamn flies. Explosion! really need to not use the joystick when I'm in battle because I tend to like overclick where I need to be. It's fortuitous that I can back up after I accidentally hit like run away or some shit, but I wonder if they put the AI battle feature in this game because they knew there was a shit ton of grinding that needed to happen. never really occurred to me because I always manually do everything. I mean, why is it there? You know? Like, it, nothing is never there for no reason. Please tell me this is the exit. Ooh. I feel like I'm in a cafe now or something. Oh no, shit, I wanted to save. What is this supposed to be? Some kind of booby trap? I can't imagine a creature dumb enough to stumble under this thing. Hey! Hey there! Get me out of this thing! That sounded like he came from further up the trail! Uh, hello? Who's in there? Um, exactly what are you doing? Why does it look like I'm doing peasant? I order you to release me from this contraption immediately! Sounds pretty rude, Alex. What are we gonna do? I say we leave him here. He isn't hurt, and I'm sure he'll get out of this thing eventually. While I'm tempted to agree, I think we should help him. Like! Didn't desert us when we needed his help. I suppose you're right. Oh, man. Hey there, kitties! <laughs> My name is Nash. I'm a level 3 apprentice from the famous magic city of Vane that floats around the Goddess Tower. The area around the Sea Hag's house can be a little tricky, so be sure to watch your step around here, okay? Oh my god. I forgot about Nash. I think I know why. I just think I hated him, so I deleted him from my memory of this game. What are you saying? <laughs> oh god. What are you saying? You're not the one who is trapped, pal, not us. And it w would it kill you to let a thanks pass your lips? Who, me? I'm in third rank of the Magic Guild. I don't give a shit. I'm the best magician in my age group. I'm also apprentice, apprentice to the powerful Sage Galleon. How dare you say I was trapped when I really was just, uh... When I was investigating how silly de this silly device was made. This is why I hate leaving the city. You country folk don't have any manners. I only have so many voices. Nalls and Nash's voice sounds kind of similar. 
Even though I'm trying to go for an annoying fucking voice like he sounded. You've been yelling at us since we got you out of that trap and we don't have any manners? Hello, Nash. My name is Luna. We're all travelers from the village of Berg. These are my friends Alex, Ramus, and all. Are you also going to visit the old woman? You should join us. No, Luna. What? Okay, I was about to say you 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 triggered the auto mod to do to block that. <laughs> that wasn't me. Uh, yeah, I hate Nash. It would be much safer for us to travel together. Go with you. Well, protecting beautiful women and simpletons is the duty of every guild member. God damn. All right, I'll travel to the Hag's house with you. I just hope you all appreciate my exceedingly kind gesture. Oh, I think I have a headache. I think Nash is a headache. You said you were from Berg Village, didn't you? I've heard that a girl with one or singing voice lives there. Do you know of her? I don't know. I know Luna is good, but I don't know about Wondrous. <laughs> Spacebar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, there's ways. It's. Yeah, this weighs around all algorithms. You're singing the prin You're the singing princess of Berg? I would love to hear you sometime, Luna. Well, alright. Alright? I'll hold you to that. Now let's go have a few words with this old bag. Who we'll puts you in charge, Buster? Alex, this guy bugs me a lot. And Alex yet has nothing to say again. I don't know if, like... I don't know what they were thinking with the dialogue of Alex. Did they not just... Maybe he talks more later? Did they not feel like... They were they trying to make him like a silent protagonist at first and then decided to change at the end when they decided to do voice or whatever? Why is... Why these poor chickens are food for someone? Well, you're not wrong, no. Hello, Matoya? What? How'd you walk on- oh, it's a shelf? Can you not, like, hide under there? Oh. On the pricking of my thumb, something tasty this way comes, um, hello, children. Out of kid. Don't you look delicious or delightful? Oh, what the fuck's wrong with you? What's your business with me? You want to see Chartwell? Since you- I assume you won't part with your tasty little pet there. Will you trade me the water cane? What? I was given this cane by Galleon when I left Vane. I'm not about to exchange it with a warty old hag for a crummy old map. We do need that sea chart, Alex. What do we do? Would you like me to ask him, Alex? Nash seems to be fond of me. No way, Luna. The only thing this egomaniac understands is tough talk. It's, and, like, Alex, do you want to do it? Make Luna do it. Make Ramus do it. Why I feel like this is going to end in futility, I'm going to ask Ramus to do it. You're obliged to help us, Nash. We helped you escape that trap in the woods when you were screaming like a little girl. And now you'll help us get to Marabia by giving up that silly little cane of yours. Do you see what I'm saying? That was a failed attempt at coercion. Raise your speech stat. What are you talking about? I was merely inspecting that trap. I wasn't caught in it. It's moments like this that you remind me why I detest you backwood inbreds. That's rude. Nice negotiating, Ramus. Now what are we gonna do? Hey Matoya, just give me your the, the map. Come on, what do you need it for? Alex? <sighs> Ash, without the sea chart, we can't sail to Marabia, and we desperately need to go. I'm begging you, please, will you trade your cane with the old woman? Hey, Nash, need help picking your jaw up off the floor? I, uh, well... Luna, there's no way I could turn on a woman as lovely as you. Here you go. What a fucking tool. Thank you, kitties, and here's a sea chalk. Yeah, whatever. Fuck your water cane. I don't even care if there's a way to get it back. I don't care about Nash. Wait, are you unequipped now? <laughs> So Nash is the caster, as you can... What do you have? Give me that!
<laughs> wait, wait, wait. Can I make him give it to Null? Give. Give it to Null. Haha! <laughs> Stolen! Wait a minute. Somebody has a magic cane. Oh, Alex has it. Here, Nash, she can have that. I have no use for it. First things first, gotta save. That's something I really gotta get in the habit of with this game. Fortify spell. Yeah, attack that. Oh, that sucks. Can I hit that? Yeah. There we go. Check this out. Okay, so wasps are super weak against thunder. So fucking slow, Ramus. And you don't move that far. Let's push. No, wait. No, 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 no. Alright, Alex. It's fine. Luna's fine. Kind of want you down here. Okay. But I wanted to move Ramus. Alright, cool. Oh, so you, you can get the water cane later, but it's upgraded from her? That's cool, but I also don't give a shit about Nash. <laughs> I mean, he's, uh, he's actually not bad. He's the caster. Check this out. Oh shit, I forgot he goes first. Actually, in both Lunar games, the casters are kind of annoying. I mean, Nash is obviously annoying for obvious reasons, but uh, in Lunar 2, you get the caster in that game is, um, what is her name? Stop. Lamina. Yeah, Lamina. And she's always like, mega magic this. I know he's designed to be annoying. I know Nash, that's his shtick. He's annoying. He's the annoying, pompous asshole. I just fucking hate his hair and his name. Check this out. Yeah! That was kind of a waste. A lot of people from the Magic Guild of Vayne are pretty fucking egomaniacs in both games. I think it's like in this world, uh, Magic users are kind of like revered and, you know, everybody who doesn't use Magic is kind of like just a commoner. Like, you... Like how Nash was talking down to Alex and crew. I wonder what's going on. Everyone looks so busy. I bet they're just trying to finish up their work before dinner. Um, that reminds me. When do we eat? Shh, Ramus. You're okay now because you got replaced by Nash in the, as the annoying character slot. 
and that's pretty hard to do. going on oh it's you the weird magician please kill the monster w what monster hmm I hope this creature is at least strong enough to give me a good fight <laughs> he made a haggle pun with the old hag she's a haggler get the fuck out Ramus Get out! PCND kick! Holy shit! I forgot how oh, cheesy this dialogue is. Bond. Ramus Bond. Oh, did not mean to hit save. Alright, here, Captain. Here's your fucking sea chart back. Alright, you brought a sea chart. I'm grateful to the lot of ya. But my ship's been devoured by a wretched beast from the hellish depth harder. Must have been all the fish sitting in me cargo hold that attracted it. Did you say fish? Alex, we have to help this guy. Are you offering to slay the monster for me? Yeah, if you let us. We'll save all your fish, sir, won't we, Alex? You're not Alex. Why are you speaking out of turn? Of course we will. It's the sworn duty of the guild to protect and serve the public. I'll simply use thunder magic to electrocute the pathetic beast. Or right, bless you, kids. Walk down with me to me ship and watch your step. Finally. Run while well, you still can, Captain. You got a cowardly crew. Captain, we all tried to attack the monster, but it was no use. It just ate all our weapons. I'll let the deckhands retreat until we figure out what to do. Uh, what are we going to do, Captain? Captain, the monster's eating right through the hole. <laughs> Let's get out of here before it starts looking for dessert. Captain, please don't think any less of me for saying this, but... Run away, ah! Arr, my crew is a blasted bunch of lily-livered scallywags. I think I let those scurvy dogs sail with me. You kids aren't afraid, though, and that's why I'm gonna let you handle the monster on your own, horror. <laughs> well, I'm definitely gonna save now. Everybody's full health, full MP and shit. All right. This is what has everyone running scared, Alex? It's just a big giant blue booger. Oh well, let's start picking. Gross. Check this out. That's obviously super effective, and so is that. Yeah, it's, it boosts your attack and defense. Monsters in the Lunar Games also have different animations for the moves they're about to use. Albeit, I don't really <laughs> know any of them in this game. Um, sure, no, actually. Fucking kill Nash, because I feel like something bad's gonna happen. He's got a Regentech? Yeah, I did see that. But I'm still out DPSing his Regen by a long shot. thing Ramus is in, so I'm just going to keep attacking that. <coughs> I 
<coughs> Excuse me. Let's see. I guess I can fortify an ash. Check this out. Is it really 88 points a turn? I wasn't paying attention to how much it was. I thought it said eight. Condition to help Ramus? Maybe. That's a good idea, I guess. Well, I'm not doubting that you saw 88. I didn't see it. I'm also kind of like bouncing back and forth between chat and the game. Check oh shit, out. Luna, no! Okay. Well, this sucks. I don't think I can recover that status anyway. I think it's gonna do something. Well, you're on your own, Alex, so good luck. Yeah! Hopefully it's not like game over if everyone gets trapped. Or maybe it's turn-based? Uh, I can't select anybody else, so... Great. Okay, it, it breaks off. It's turn-based. That sucks, though. He's doing flips now. Luna, heal yourself. Actually, Luna, heal everybody. Hit Nash. Blech. Oh shit, yeah, he recovered 91 that time. Fuck. Hmm. I really, really hate to use this, but I kind of need it right now. Check this out. What a ridiculous regen tick. Oh god! Screw you! You had to encapsulate Alex. Fuck. Um. Fuck, I don't know. Uh, that's 15. Let's just heal Ramus, I guess. Attack. You keep spamming thunder. Check this out. I actually think Lamina in Lunar 2 also goes first, or she goes like second. She's really fast. But then again, people have a speed stat, and I think it can change, so. Check this out. I don't know if there's like a strat I'm supposed to be using here, other than just beating the shit out of him. But now I'm a little worried, because now he's actually healing himself faster than I can DPS. But, I mean, what do I do about this? Kill that fucker. his attacks jello shots. No, it makes his attacks saline vodka shots. <laughs> Damn, this sucks, 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 sucks. Alright, everybody attack. Check this out. Oh, thank God. Of 
course everyone leveled up. <laughs> Your kids did it. You slayed the beast and saved me ship. Would you be kind enough to hand me the map? No. Or I'll never let this lovely rag out of my grasp again. You're headed for Marabia, aren't you? I insist that you sail with me on the Hispanola, free of charge. Really? You do that for us? Or of course. Without what you did, I wouldn't have a ship to sail. Whatever I can do to help you, I will. It'll take my crew a while to fix the damage, but they'll be done by the morning. I'll make sure of that. These buggers are lucky to have jobs after they cowardly display hard. Well, you ran away too. Get the rest of that doghouse. Get to work, and the first one who ran away gets to swab the slime off the deck. Tomorrow? Alex, tomorrow we're going to be in the biggest city in the world. What do you think it'll be like? Will people be friendly? And will they have good fish? <laughs> uh, you know what's the best part of this, Alex? My dad wouldn't believe it if he saw it. I'm just happy to be leaving this hillbilly haven behind. A person as sophisticated as I am needs the commerce and culture of the city. Oh, fuck off, Nash. I also need people who listen to me when I'm speaking. Let's go get some... Oh, whoops. Oh, that was a weird, like, combination of voices. Let's go get some rest, Alex. Snack too. Fighting that monster made me hungry. Good idea, Ramus. Luna, why are you walking so slow? Suddenly, water noises. Luna, are you okay? I'm sorry. Why don't you go on ahead? I'll catch up. Alex, something's up with Luna. You saw the look on her face. Let's talk to her and find out what's wrong. She just said she wanted to... Well, she didn't say it, but she wants to be left alone. Well, I guess we're going to be nosy anyway. Luna. Alex. <laughs> Great conversation. I'm not going to Marabia with you, Alex. I'm staying here. Luna, I don't understand. Yeah, I, I know what's about to happen. <laughs> everything you've talked about, everything you've dreamed of since you were a boy, it's come true, Alex. You're on a great adventure, just like Dine. I always told you that I believed in you, but deep in my heart, I'm not certain I really did. Why else would I be so surprised at what's happening to us, Alex? It's just so unbelievable. You've grown strong. Oh, you've grown so strong, Alex. Strong enough to venture into the unknown with nothing but confidence in yourself and your friends. Luna. If I couldn't put all my faith and my trust in you, how can you put yours in me? All I would be is a burden on this trip, Alex. No, you're the healer. You're definitely not a burden. Ramus and Nash are the burden. I know I won't admit that. Even... I know you won't admit that, even to yourself, but somewhere deep down you know it's true. But, Luna... <laughs> I've made up my mind, Alex. I'll watch you set sail in the morning, and then I'll return to Berg. I'll wait for you there, Alex. I'll always wait for you. Good night, Alex. Yes, my name is Alex. Luna. <laughs> Great job stopping her, Alex. But Luna, Luna, Luna. <laughs> Are you sure you're going to stay here, Luna? Yes, no. I'm worried about Alex's parents. I have to head back and let them know how you two are. You're do you two are doing fine. I'll miss you, Luna. Dot dot dot. No, you have to take care of Alex for me. All right. No problem, Luna. If we get in trouble, I'll just talk us out of it. No, don't. You'll get us killed. Take care of yourself, Alex. Don't do anything too dangerous. We just fought a monster slime. I think it's a little late for that. Don't sleep with your feet sticking out from underneath the covers. You'll catch a cold. Yes, Mom. Don't forget to eat an orange or two on the ship. 
Yes, Mom. And don't forget about me. All right, raise the sails. Take care, Luna. Remember to tell my dad I'm not coming back until I've made my first million. Farewell, Luna. I'm confident we'll see each other again. Bye, Luna. So long. See ya. I'll miss you, Alex. Goodbye. Goodbye. But I don't want to leave my healer behind. Awkward. Long pause. Okay. How are we sailing? There's no sail down. Luna! Luna, you have to come with us! What? Luna! All Suddenly, the exposition! All the world mean nothing if you're not with us. This isn't just my adventure, Luna. It's ours! Oh, Alex, but what if... There's no time to think about it. Hurry! Give me your hand! Come on! Oh, I hope I did the right thing. It's all so exciting. adventure can finally begin and you'll be right here with us where you belong god damn it the dialogue just stopped when i was in the middle of drinking a pepsi oh alex i don't know about this i'm what's wrong luna your face is all red <sighs> just trying to catch my breath that's all shut up Nall. stop ruining the mood i knew you would come with us luna i had faith in you Luna, Jape Master. <laughs> Alex, I don't know about you, but I'm getting pretty chilly out here. Wanna head below? Do I have to? Excuse me, sir, but what are you doing? What am I doing? Steering the ship! Steering? Does that have to do anything with cows? <sighs> no. Uh, no. I use the wheel to control the direction with the ship sails. Wow, what great magic! No, you're an idiot. Yes, we're finally headed to Marabia. One more day and I wouldn't have a job when I got there. Now I'm totally set and I hear the guys in Marabia are the cutest in the entire continent. Who cares about the guys? Tell me about the fish! adventures one can experience there. We're gonna visit all those places, aren't we? Of course, Nal. I just wanna to talk to this guy. Welcome to the Hispanola Super Shop. I'm fresh out of ships in a bottle, so don't ask. What do you got? You got a healing nut. <laughs> Soap. Alright, so... <laughs> In both Lunar games, there's a bath scene, and in order, I think, to, like, get the um, quote-unquote good one, I think, with uh, either Luna or something, you have to have the soap. But it costs a thousand silver. It's not only in this game, either. It's in Lunar 2 as well. So... I don't know if I should buy it now or what. Actually, I don't know if I can get it at any other time, so I'm just gonna go ahead and buy it. Damn it. I don't have plenty of money. I have 340 silver now. <gasps> I did! Son of a- You're seriously gonna pay me ten silver after I just bought it for a thousand? You son of a bitch. You robbed me. I'm gonna fucking stab you. Wow, fucking shit. Fuck, 
Yeah, drop it. I don't need this many. Give it to Null. Oh man, that's one thing I don't like about this game is the item management. <sighs> well, here's a character we haven't met yet. <laughs> but anyway, these are what the bromides are. So that's just really a picture. Usually, like I said, of the female characters, but I think there are some of the male ones, too. And they're hidden throughout the game, like, and pretty well, too. You gotta, like, really look for them. You gotta, like, search everything. God damn it, I can't believe I really bought the soap twice. It's not like I won't get money again, but still. Apparently I can't... Oh, wait. I didn't even see Ramus and Nash over here. Alex, I don't think we've ever been so happy. We're on a fantastic adventure, and we're going to be filthy, stinking rich. See, if I had listened to my dad and stayed home, none of this would have happened. Get out of my way, dude! Before you sell the diamond that Ramus keeps rambling about, I think you should meet with Master Mel. That's not his voice. Why did I suddenly give him an accent? Whatever. Mel sounds familiar. As well as he should! Mel's one of the four heroes and the governor of Marabia. Mel's a very friendly person. He might even be able to put, you, put up with your attitude. Yes, children, it's... Oh, wait, yeah, he had a country accent. Yes, children, it's me. After you thoroughly humiliated me, I decided to give up gambling for good. I've returned all, well, most of the money I've won over the years and sto stole onto the ship. I plan on getting an honest job and making an honest living. Like, we're really going to take you seriously, Brett? Loot, loot, loot! What is with this shield? It looks like a slime from Dragon Warriors on it. There's Luna. Sorry, I'm just like checking everything. Any secret bromides around here? No, but they're like really well hidden. Like, I would have never have found any of them in Lunar 2, or at least not most of them, if I didn't like have the player's guide to that, which I need to find where that's at. Alex has grown up so much in her monologue since we left from Berg. When we left, he was just a boy, and on the outside, he still is. But he's changed somehow inside. This is all happening very suddenly. I wish I could understand these feelings. It's called puberty, Luna. It's okay. What's the matter, Luna? You look awful. Do you have to hurl on deck? I do feel seasick now, now that you mention it. I think I'm going to lie down before it gets any worse. Besides, I want to be ready when we arrive at Marabia. I can't wait, and I still can't believe we're really going to do this. Luna? 
Luna. Hmm? What? Huh? Hey, where's Luna? Shut up, Noel. You're being too loud. Alex, where'd she go? Let's go find her, Alex. Yes, my name is Alex. And there's so many places on the ship she can be. Nash, what are you doing? Alex, what are you doing, Wake? Feeling nervous? Nervous? I, I keep trying to give him a weird British accent. I don't know why. I think it's his hair. I can't say I'm impressed. Surprised. If it makes you feel better, I was also a bit nervous the first time I went to Marabia. You realize, of course, I'll strike you dead with thunder magic if you tell anyone. You do realize I stole your secret Mia Bromade, don't you? Oh, this is downstairs. Fuck you, Brett. Get out of my way. Just like going into people's rooms while they're asleep. That's not weird, right? A samurai? Why can't I? Oh, whatever. I'm almost positive cutscene is gonna happen. So, Una. What's with boats making women want to sing? But no, yeah, there's a couple of actual, like, song songs. It's kind of, I would say, like a twelfth musical, this game. Hey, Luna, what are you- Psh, shut up, no. Thank you. 
Alex, no, how long are you two gonna sleep? We're only a few miles away from Marabia. It's time to wake up and get some sunshine. Luna, I hope your nose is a snooze button because I'm about to jab it. <laughs> oh no, you quit your moaning and get up, stumble butt. What? I'm sure glad you woke me up, Luna. I was having a nightmare about a bunch of half-dressed servant girls hand-feeding me fish. Excuse me for thinking you wanted to wake up sometime this year. <laughs> We're a Marabia, Alex. We're really a Marabia. Give me a big juicy pinch, because I have to be dreaming. Let's see my dad yell at me when I come home with a sack full of silver. I think Ramus is a little overwhelmed right now. Aren't you excited too, Alex? You don't have to be calm. It's okay to let, let go of your emotions once in a while. Alex has no emotions. Alex is a stone. <laughs> Why don't you calm down? Maybe he isn't going anywhere. Why are you so restless, Nash? You're just as worked up as the rest of us. So that I can report to Ro- Well, because everyone knows when I think more clearly- You think more clearly when your heart is pumping. No, you don't. What is this logic? I feel like I'm missing something. By the way, if you were wondering why the moon at night last night when we were listening to Luna's little musical song, it was not really a moon. Well, that's because in this game, because there's the silver star and then there's the other planet. Well, they're technically moons. They're moons to each other, but they're both like planets. If that makes any sense. It'll be explained later, I'm sure. Wait, what am I doing? Thinly, if there's no logic, just thinly veiled narcissism with Nash. Yep, exactly right. I mean, he has... Yeah, he, he has a personality, and he does have character development. All of them do in this game. It's just, we're still kind of at the beginning. Go. I just want to get to Mary B already. Oh, yeah. She's about to pull a Titanic. Look, Alex! Look at all the ships! And the huge town! Moravia is even more splendid than I imagined! But I have to biz I have some business to attend to. I'll be in Marabia for a while. If you need to find me here, I'm usually speaking to my fellow mages on Black Rose Street. So long, then get out of here. It's tired of you doing your voice anyway. God, and I got like what 20 more hours of Nash voice. <sighs> at last, I, I actually have an easier time doing Ramus's voice. At, at last, we're going. <laughs> we're finally in Marabia. I'm going to find a shop and sell the diamond. See you later. We're gonna be rich, I'll just fucking stick it rich. Get out of here. Is that all you care about? Then again, only Nal cares about fish and apparently scantily clad women. This is an odd thing for a cat to want. Hehe, <laughs> I think I'm almost as excited as he is. Come on, Alex, let's look around. One of the four heroes, Master Mel, lives in the city. You wanna see him, don't you, Alex? Definitely. One of Marabia's most wonderful conveniences is a sewer system. I'll take indoors over out over outhouse any day, you know? But I hear the rumors that the waste has attracted a vile creature. Do you think it's true? Pfft, probably. It's a shit monster. Trash monster. Whoa, what is this guy's wasted? Coming through, old man. Lovely scent, by the way. What is that? Oh, did I, I don't know how to say that correctly. Oh, the cheap whiskey? It's French, but... 
Sir, you'll catch a cold if you sleep out here. Shut up! The city is full of freedom. I can do what I want. Stalk pretty girls, drink till I can't. Whoops. Didn't mean to click through that. Whatever. He's a stalker. I'm Dragon Master Dying. Taste cold steel of my blade. Ow, hey, didn't your mom tell you not to run with sharp, sharp objects? You'll put your eye out, kid. We're playing the four heroes, but we don't have a galleon. Will you be a galleon for us? No. Sorry, kid. Alex only plays Dragon Master Dying. <laughs> Where's the Athena statue, by the way? It's kind of important. Oh, yeah, I have the fucking money. <sighs> Scrag structures, the residence of Master Mel. He only deserves the finest. Mel has open door policies so the citizens of Marabia may come and go as they please. Why don't you come inside and take a look? I guarantee you'll be impressed. I wonder if Mel is inside. Oh, well, yeah, hang on, let's find Ramus. It doesn't matter, I can't afford any of this shit. <coughs> Excuse me. In Marabia, humans and beastmen work side by side. This is the first place I've ever lived, where I haven't been affected by prejudice or stereotypical thinking. Oh, good for you. Marabia sounds like a fairly nice place. Except for apparently shit monsters in the sewers. Maybe I'm supposed to go see Mel first. I mean, yeah, you said this is the part where you got to and you haven't really been much further, but honestly, when I played through the game, I pretty much got to here and a little bit beyond, and I don't remember much that happens after this. However, I am familiar with Marabia because, well, I don't really think it's a spoiler, but Marabia is also in Lunar 2. Hey, Alex. I'm talking about this guy about buying the diamond. He's trying to lowball us on the price, but don't worry. If I can negotiate with Quark, I can negotiate with anybody. But you didn't negotiate with Quark. Don't forget about Nash on Black Rose Street. I don't care about Nash. It's... Not really a spoiler. I don't know why I said that, other than... Well, see, the thing about Lunar 2 is, is that it takes place a thousand years after the events of Lunar, the one I'm playing now. So... Yeah. I mean, but it really isn't a spoiler. But however, Marabia is in that game too, and it's exactly the same for the most part. So you... Oh, there's a statue. Official proclamation. The mountain road to Nanza has been closed. I... And definitely due to the danger of posed by roving bandits. Marabians are not allowed to travel the road until further notice, especially foolish young daughters. Signed, Governor Mel de Kirk. Roving bandits, Alex? This sounds kind of dangerous. Wait a minute. I think we're about to meet Master... Well, we're about to meet Master Mel. I'm pretty sure. I think that happens here. I mean, I know they said he was here, but... My memory is shit. It really does. Said he has been sniffing the fumes too long. The fuck? What's wrong with everybody? Hey, are you that Mel guy? I'm Meldial Kirk, governor of Meribia. Since you're new here, I'll warn ya. You sound like the pirate. 
If you dare to make any sort of trouble in my town, I'll pop your tiny little heads off your twiggy little necks and mount them on me trophy wall. I know somebody who would, you would get along with, Mel. His name is Like. Ah, uh, scared the heck out of me, old man. I thought my heart was gonna pop. Ah, uh, I guess I could just do the pirate voice for him because that's exactly what he sounds like. <laughs> you think a fair amount of the VAs pulled double duty in this game? You're probably right. At least it's not as bad as like Oblivion, where like two guys or one guy did all the voices for the whole game. Ah, <laughs> don't be scared. I was just fooling with you. Now then, what brings you to see me? Alex is going to become the next Dragon Master. Master Mel, it's a bit redundant. So he came here to pay his respects to one of the four heroes. I see we have a future Dragon Master in our midst. Ho oh, ho ho, that's rich. I like a lad with ambition. There aren't enough of y'all around anymore. So Alex, let's find out how serious you are. Nani? Alex, you're going to be smushed like a grape. Then we'll have some wine! <laughs> Omae wa mo, shinderu. Uh, I'm gonna die, aren't I? If you see a weakness in my defense, take advantage of it. Don't go easy on my lad, because I won't go easy on you. <laughs> uh, Luna, I might die, so if I don't come back out of this, um... Dot dot dot, he never finishes. Wow, I kind of am not prepared for this at all. Uh, fuck. Please tell me you have some herbs. You have one. Give it one last shot, because this is all I got. Rip Alex. He never scored. Or learned how to ha have a conversation. Not bad, Alex. Yeah, I kind of figured you could win, but... Need more training, but you'll have you have plenty of potential. Potential? Alex already met with Quark and passed the first dragon trial. Quark, eh? Well done, lad. You might well be the next dragon master after all. But I'll still be able to kick your scurvy high ho ho. You know, lad, I got a daughter not much older than you. Really? Is she cute? Oh, <laughs> no. Of course, lad. Her name is Jessica, and she's not at all like me, thank goodness. The girl's got a heart of gold and a soul to match. She's at Althena's shrine learning to be a priestess, and she'll be a great one. I think you should meet her sometime. I think she'd like you as much as I do. But you're gonna have to grow up, lad, before I let you marry her. Uh, uh I don't know, Alex. I think she's just as scary as her father. The Complete Friggin' Moron's Guide to Leadership. 101 Great Ways to Invest Your Heaping Chestfuls of Pirate Gold. Detailed Charts of the Caribbean Sea and Surrounding Regions. Beast Women Babes Exposed. Whoa. <laughs> Banned! I don't know. I don't remember Jessica's voice. Is it a guy doing her voice? I remember what Jessica looks like, and I know she's kind of like... Well, we'll see. I'm gonna go find her right now. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm sure it's either a girl doing it, or it's like they just kind of like did a voice coder for... Like, a, maybe a guy or somebody just talking really high-pitched. 
It's just, it's squeaky and... Oh, it, it is a girl. Well, I'm, like I said, I'm not really surprised. Where is this fucking cathedral or whatever I'm looking for? Call the wind spirit to move the boat and the water spirit to guide them. This still for many years using this wondrous means. Well, that makes sense. Well, it's like Goku's voice in uh, Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z is a woman. It still is. His Japanese voice, not... <clears throat> is it like in the next area? Maybe. Here I was talking about remembering Marabia, and I can't even fucking find where the temple is. <laughs> no, it's fine. A lot of, you know, young boy voices are done by girls. It makes sense. I mean, guys don't, you know, it's a puberty thing. Matoya? Hey, I've heard that voice somewhere before. I remember now. It's the old hag from Kaldor Ka Isle who gave us the water cane. Oh, it's her sister. But she said she loved the... Oh, yeah. Whatever. I want to do an old woman voice. You, boy, I can tell you're a quite skilled magician. You might not have deduced it from my appearance, but I've been using magic since I was a child. Alas, the only spell I can cast is the one to stop sneezing. But I also have a powerful sense of magic ability of others. But Alex can't use magic. But he does. What are you talking about, Null? Alright, where the fuck is this place? Magic toothbrush. <laughs> no brush for you. I knew you'd say no. It'd be your fault when I can track gingivitis, Luna. Oh, you have like two fangs. Oh shit, I didn't want to find Nash. <sighs> and that's what happened. I still haven't determined if singing is the key. I have a strong suspicion that it is. Nash, your friends have come. Uh, Alex, Luna, did you th think the knock before entering? What? What? Hmm, ominous. There's no way she could be a bad guy, they could she? seem to have guests, but I welcome those pursuing knowledge, as always. For you see, I am a student of knowledge, past, present, and future. I can foretell many things in the future. So, let's see your future. That's why you came to me today, isn't it? Actually, I, I got the wrong door, sorry. I'm also a master of speaking really slowly. We really didn't come to learn anything particular. We were trying to find Nash. Oh, really? From what I glimpsed of your future, child, you need my services quite desperately. So many of the questions you have about yourself are ones that I could answer. No, Luna, don't. It's just puberty. And you, Alex, you seek to become the greatest hero of our world has ever known. But you are too humble to be a Dragon Master. You are unwilling to choose power and glory over friends and family. This will be your undoing. So what's my fortune, lady? <laughs> Licking your paws and coughing up hairballs, cat. It was an insult to think I would waste my energy looking at the future of a rodent. I'm not a cat. Nash, who are you hanging around with? Alex, Luna, have you finished your tour of the city? Uh, overwhelmed, just the time, and I feel uh, whatever, I don't care. 
Nash, what were you asking the fortune teller about? Hoping she might know a spell to cure your bad hair days? You rude little shit! I mean, rodent! <laughs> In fact, I asked her, well, it's none of your business anyway, what is it? Ooh, I know what it is. You asked her to see if there was a woman in your future. <laughs> Nash wants the girlfriend. Good luck, tiger. Okay, whatever. I don't care. It's not even what I was looking for. I don't see any other way to a temple or anything, so... Hmm. It's gotta be around here somewhere, because I'm pretty sure we can't leave Marabia yet. Fuck. Do you mind moving the fuck out of my way, dude? Maybe it's not even here. Maybe it isn't in Marabia. I'm fucking confused. It may not be till later we can meet Jessica. You may pass, but please be quiet. Both Mel and Jessica's bedrooms are located upstairs. Did you hear that, Noel? Hear what? You're going to have to speak up, Luna! <laughs> I don't know how Alex puts up with you. Alex puts up with everything just because he doesn't give a shit. That's why he never says anything. She's not here, so fuck it. We're gonna go get Ramus and leave Nash and continue on. Uh, where was he at? He was in the one building with the sign. It's not here. Here it is. don't understand. This is a dragon diamond freshly minted from Quark's mighty keister. He doesn't just give these away to just anyone, you know. How am I supposed to know if this is a genuine dragon diamond? We've had a devil of a time with dragon zirconium lately. It seems like we've got a fool here every day claiming to have a genuine dragon diamond. But I will admit, this is one of the most beautiful gemstones I've ever seen. Hey Alex, did you eat with Master Metal? I'm still negotiating with this guy to buy the diamond, but I might have to settle for a lot less than it's worth. I'm sorry. That's more on you, Ramus. You're the one that's talking about filthy, stinking rich the whole time. Like I've been telling you, young man, this is a wonderful stone, but the dragon diamond? This is a wonderful stone, but the dragon diamond? Sorry, no. No one even knows where to find dragon di the dragons anymore, much less how to get diamonds from them. All right, all right, so how much will you give us for it? For a diamond of this caliber, I'll give you 20,000 silver for it, and that's my one and only offer. It's your decision too, Alex. What do we do? Excellent. I'll go into the back and get your money. Hand over the diamond so I can put it in my safe. No! Good job, Ramus. I didn't realize it took so long to count 20,000 silver, Alex. 
Maybe it's too heavy for him to carry all at once. Alex, something is wrong. Dross? Hello, where are you? Alex, Ramus, Dross is gone, and so is the Dragon Diamond. We've been had. Please don't hurt me. I started working here. I don't know anything. I don't know anyone. Oh, why don't you go talk to Master Mel? Maybe he can help you out. This is all my fault, Alex. I should have known Dross was a con from the start. I got cocky because I was able to catch Brett. I'm so sorry. Well, good job, Ramus. Hang on. Before I go talk to Mel, I'm going to loot everything. I've been scoping out Dross's... I've been scoping out Dross's store for weeks, coming up with a perfect plan to rob him blind. And I stumbled upon the secret passage in the sewers. I'm sad today was the day to pull the job, so I hid here and waited. Then Dross runs past me, clutching the biggest diamond I've ever seen. If I had a sewage worker alibi ready... Oh, I had a sewage worker alibi ready. But he was so happy with his giant jewel that he didn't even notice me. This day has just been so weird, just had to tell someone about it. Alex, this guy's a thief. Should we tell someone about him? We don't have time, though. The longer we stay here, the bigger lead Dross gets away with our diamond. Let's kill him. Alright, let's go talk to Mel. I see a treasure chest, though. Loot, loot! Ah, damn it. Under the table, tips and tactics for avoiding income taxes. Never take no for an answer. How to persuade anyone to buy anything. Swindle, scams, and suckers. The history of the con artist. Some of the best things in Lunar are just looking at the shelves with the books, because they will often have silly titles like that. These NPCs, like, they don't move any faster and they don't move out of the way and you can't clip through them whenever they get in your way. So you're just kind of stuck. Alright, so lad, what's on your mind? One second. Oh. We, we were trying to sell our diamond to a man named Dross, but he stole it. If I've said it once, I've said it a hundred times. That Joss is a crook. Why do you let him in your city, then? But it's your fault, too. You can't just hand over a valuable jewel like that. Since you're trying to become adventurers, I think I'll let you solve this one on your own. Test your strength, but trust your heart. <laughs> All you can truly rely on is yourself. Oh, well, you're not wrong. It's good advice. Except it's not just one person. It's three. Well, two and a half. Let's go get Nash back, I guess. I'm not gonna do the sewers today, because that's another dungeon. And I got Anime Friday coming up in a bit, and I gotta go run to the store, so I'm just gonna get Nash and save. Wait a second, where is Nash? Is he over here? Nash! Fuck Nash. Alright then, well never mind. I'm so mad too, I fucked up and bought two soaps and I have no money! I have to go into this brand new dungeon next time I play just to basically kill stuff and get silver. are reported strange noises coming from the sewers. So Master Mel sent me down here to investigate, but I'm afraid to go any deeper in the sewers alone. Whatever's down there might devour me. Oh, that music's so good. Alright. 
Rocksteady actually out here. Alright, that will be enough Lunar for now. Let me do the double save here. Alright, cool. Well, I'm going to take a break for now, and I'll be back later with Anime Friday, so I can't wait. I'll see you then.